Baby, you're a narcissist. So let's first take a look at some of the things that a narcissist does or a narcissist is. Nothing is ever their fault. They'll never be there for you, ever, no matter what. They'll always be the victim. They'll never see you or need your needs or your love or your pain or your loneliness or your accomplishments. Right? You're, they're, you're nothing to them. Everything will always be about them. They, they never give an inch, right? But they demand everything. They just take and take and take without giving. They'll never admit they're wrong. They give frequent silent treatments and neglect that could go on for days or weeks or months or years sometimes. Especially if you point out their, one of their flaws or mistakes. And when you find the courage to leave them, they spread lies and rumors about you or, you know, do nasty things. These are, these are just some of the things that a narcissist is capable of, right? So what can you learn or what can you, what's the, what's the appropriate response to dealing with a narcissist and, and dealing with patterns of uh, being in the presence of narcissists, maybe from, from when you were a child and how this all relates to your twin. So you can ask yourself while you take a step back from everything that's happening and say, you know, ask yourself, what is going on within me? What kind of misaligned beliefs, what kind of core wounds, what kind of hurts do I have within myself that is attracting narcissists throughout my life? Why is this in my experience? Ask yourself that. Forget about all the other you know, forget about what has happened to you for a second or how people have, or how these narcissists have treated you. And ask yourself what it is that you're doing or that you, that is going on behind the scenes in you that is attracting this. And let's get something out of the way real quick. Your twin flame is not a narcissist. However, they are playing the role of a narcissist because you both have deep core wounds to this level of behavior that has been attracted into your life. And they are showing you very vividly and probably very dramatically where those wounds lie and to get to the bottom of them and to heal them. So ask yourself if like you started diving in deep to some of these behaviors that have been uh, in your experience throughout your life, what will you find? And when you heal those wounds and align those, those misaligned beliefs how will that change your life? Would it be significantly better than what you're experiencing now? Could that be? If you keep acting as if you are the victim of abuse, you will continue to attract abuse. And this is huge. You know, that's a, that's a really big deal. 
So don't go along with what's happening. Start, start asking some questions to yourself. Start being honest with yourself. Dig deep. Uncover these things that are that are making you feel really unempowered. That are sucking your energy away. That are making you feel less than or unworthy or that it's okay for this to be happening. Or that it's, it's been happening so long that I'll, I'll just deal with it. It's okay to, there's nothing that's going to hurt you by going within yourself and uncovering some answers to why this is all occurring, why this is uh, manifesting in your experience. You're not going to, you want to know yourself. You want to know everything about yourself. No surprises. So what could possibly be harmful of confronting something within yourself? You know, that's where you get to the bottom of something. That's how you heal and clear out blocks to some really deep-seated trauma. But it's being brave. It's making the choice that you you want something different. You want something better for yourself. You want to rise above this. You want what's in your heart. Nothing is stopping you except for you. So work with me. Go to the description box down below. Uh, click on some of the links. There's a, a lot of great content on my website that might help you through this journey. And uh, I'll see you next time.